Hey YouTube, my name is Ginger and I wanted to come on and do a quick video about my experience with my eye surgery. I recently had what is called a scleral buckle on my left eye and as you can see it is still in the healing process. I'm only six days post-surgery. Today is Sunday, May 5th, 2019. I had the surgery performed Monday, April 29th, 2019. So still pretty fresh. But I at least wanted to come on and do a quick little video diary or vlog or whatever of my experience because I feel like this can truly help someone that may be going through this as we speak. Um, so here we go. So I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. I have a lot to say. This has been a journey that started over a year ago. So um, it's kind of hard to condense that into a short video, but I don't want to overwhelm you because it's so much, um, but I just wanted to talk about a few things that I experienced prior to surgery. I started out with basically just seeing floaters and after going to several doctors and getting several exams, I was finally referred to a retina specialist. When I went to the retina specialist, they did discover um, that I had a partial retinal detachment that was starting. It wasn't a full detachment, but it was starting to detach. Um, I guess let me start out by saying the way that this whole situation started with my eye is due to me seeing floaters and the floaters did not go away. The floaters turned into flashes of light, which I never knew this, but that's not a good sign. You should not be seeing flashes of light. Didn't really know anything about that because prior to this surgery, I've had 2020 vision. 2020, never worn glasses, never worn contacts. Um, I've never had any prior issues with my eye, with my vision. I received my annual checkups, nothing, normal, doctor said I was good to go. So um, when I started experiencing the flashes of light, I was referred to a retina specialist like the same day. Um, and I went and they, they, they had to take pictures like of the back of my eye, they had to flash that bright light in my face. I mean, it's just painful. The whole experience is just... It can be very, very like overwhelming and it was. So as a result of all of the tests and the pictures and things like that, it was determined that I had a partial retinal detachment um, and I also had a cyst, which was causing the detachment. So um, once I was diagnosed with that, then we had to talk about how do we fix it or where do we go from here? So. Where do we go from here? Basically, my doctor didn't want to perform surgery. He wanted to watch it to see how things were going to go, to see if things were going to get worse or if they would improve on their own. You know, this is all new to me, so I really didn't know the right questions to ask. I was just like overwhelmed because this is like, at, for me, this came out of nowhere. So um, he told me if I had any changes with my vision to call or come in immediately. So... Over the next few months, that's what I did. I watched it and I had some changes with my vision. The changes that I started to experience um, were distorted vision, blurry vision. I also had like a blind spot. So the, it was like it was in my peripheral, like my lower peripheral if that makes sense so I really couldn't see if you were to hold up your hand in front of me and wave your fingers I wouldn't be able to see it and that was like in one part of the eye so I I would assume that's where I was having that's probably where my cyst was or you know I don't know but that's where I was having the problem so that was the some of the things that I experienced prior to having the surgery um, once I started to experience the changes, of course, I went in for appointments and 
the doctor would take pictures and examine my eye. And he did confirm that, yes, I was having some changes because my vision was getting worse. And this is the part where it got really scary. I was at work. I was doing something on the computer. I was sitting at my desk and I just noticed that the blind spot, it was getting bigger. So I was covering up my right eye and I was looking and I was like, okay, something's not right. So literally I panicked because at this point I'm like, my vision is getting worse. I just, I lost it. So at that point I immediately went to the doctor. Like I can remember I didn't even call this day, this particular day. I just went straight to the doctor. I was like, I'm not calling. I'm just going because this is like crisis. This is a crisis in my mind. Um, so the doctor was able to see me and then he basically said at that point, surgery is going to be your best option because this is progressively getting worse. So that's how we came to the conclusion that I was going to receive the scleral buckle surgery. So, um, surgery, scary, scary. This was like something that I wasn't really expecting to have to get. Um, but I knew that whatever had to be done had to be done soon because my vision was getting worse. And it was to the point where I was slowly losing vision. It was leaving. Um, so if you can imagine the amount of fear, um, I have no words. I literally have no words. Um, when life hits you, it hits you hard. Um, it's one of the scariest things I've experienced ever. I just can't even explain. It's like that feeling where you almost, it's like you wake up and it's like, what is it going to be today? It's going to be gone or what? It's the unknown. It's scary. Um, so mentally, I went through a breakdown. And I broke down in the doctor's office many times. I'll tell you, um, when I was going to do my um, follow-up visits or just, you know, doing my visits or whatever, the day that I broke down and I literally lost it at the doctor's office um, happened when, you know, they tell you to read the letters. So they tell you to hold the, um, you know, you have to hold like that thing that they give you over one eye and you have to read the lines. So the day that I knew that something was was wrong and that things had changed is when I could no longer read the lines um, I lost it because I had never had that problem before. So I think that's when it hit me like, this is really getting worse. Um, so anyway, don't want to get emotional, but it's just, it's been a journey. So um, to move this along, I found out that I was going to have to get, let's see, I went in, I had an appointment on Tuesday and I found out that they wanted to do the surgery that Monday so I only had a few days to prepare to tell my family and just you know go through all the preparation with work and all that stuff so everything was kind of fast-tracked that brings me to the present again I had the surgery Monday April 29th today is Sunday May 5th and I made it I made it thank God God, I made it. Um, I will say after lots of prayer, after just, I mean, I, you have to really, you got to have faith and, um, it's just tough. Like, I don't even want to get into it because I think that's probably going to be safe for another video, but I made it through the surgery this is what my eye looks like. My vision is still very blurry in the affected eye, in my left eye. 
um like i can see ob- i can see the object but it's just not clear so it's like a film over my eye if that makes sense but i am only six days post-surgery my eye is still very red and i know that the doctor told me that it could be between two to four weeks for healing time um i do have time off of work so i've been resting and just really just kind of like seeing what this is gonna do but um yeah it's over i feel like the worst part of the recovery is over because that was like the day after the surgery pain was it was terrible um but i was prescribed pain medication that it helped but it's just like it's just uncomfortable when you get anything done with the eye whoo i just feel like you know when you get anything done with your eyes you're gonna have like some bruising it's gonna be tender it's gonna be really red so i was kind of like well you know i guess this is just normal this is what people experience but um i mean the pain is better I'm just waiting to see, you know, how clear my vision is going to be. Is it going to come back? Is it going to be, you know, I have like lots of questions. I have a follow-up appointment Tuesday, um, this coming Tuesday. So the doctor will take a look and see how my healing is um, to see how well I'm healing. And hopefully I will get a good report and, you know, get some great news. So stay tuned. I will be back with a follow-up video after my doctor's appointment and that's it for anyone that may be experiencing this i just want to be a voice and share my story and my experience to let you know that you're not alone just know that you can make it and the fact that there is a procedure that can be done to correct the issue is a blessing within itself i just want to say if you're watching this video and you're going through this Please keep your hope. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your because that is literally all you have. Like you have to hold on to it. This is tough and it's very scary. So just inbox me. I will do my best to try to answer any questions that you may have. I will say that when I first started going through this, I YouTube, I, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, and I found that there were a lot of people that were going through this. And so that gave me a lot of comfort during this time, seriously. So I will say that I watched one of the best YouTube videos. Um, her name is Bria Simone. And she is just absolutely beautiful, beautiful spirit. Um, she actually had the same procedure done. And hearing what you had to go through, like, I knew, okay, like, God, there's hope. Like, I'm not alone. Like, there's really somebody else out there who experienced the same thing. And some of the things that you said, I was like, yes, that's what I'm going through. So thank you for sharing your story. Um, it, it really blessed me. It really helped me. So thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more videos soon.